In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about tweaking the scoring functions in FAR. Let's hit the break key to bring up the main FAR window. And let's say we're going to start typing Microsoft, and we can see it's popped up the first five results that it found that matched. Now, that doesn't mean there are only five results. I've just configured FAR to only show me the top five, and this is important because you can actually see down the bottom that uh, far as told us it actually found 29 results. If we wanted to see them all we could type the special keyword s all for show all plus s all. We can see now that it's showing us all of the 29 ranked in order of score so it thinks the most useful to us is going to be at the top and the least useful down at the bottom. You can see it's actually found folders that matched our search folder names and you can configure that you can tell it you never want to find folders or you could um, make it so folders show up at the top but now let's go back let's get only look at the top five because usually FAR does a fairly good job of putting the results you want at the top but let's say you never use Microsoft Office so you really want to tell FAR that mm, all Microsoft Office shortcuts but they're they're least likely to be useful to you so let's bring up the options and let's go into the pattern scoring tab here now FAR uses a set of complicated rules for deciding how to score files based on lots of heuristics which we'll look at later uh, pattern matching um, the history of launches in in the past and um, you can see it, it comes pre-configured to do a fairly good job for most users. Most users won't have to ever go in here. But if we look in here, we can see that some of the uh, default settings. It's, it's um, designed to favor uh, shortcut links and executables. It penalizes backup and temp files. It penalizes files with readme and uninstall. Now, that doesn't mean it won't find them and show them. It just means they're going to be ranked lower than... Uh, similarly named files without these patterns. So I'm going to right click, select add new entry, I'm going to type asterisk uh, office asterisk to tell it to find to uh, penalize now any files with the word office in their name or path and we're going to click OK and then you can see it's up here with the score and we're going to click OK and now we're back typing Microsoft and you can see what's happened the other results have popped up to the top and if we do press S all again you can see here's Microsoft Office files are down uh, with lower scores now if I actually launch one of these its history score will pop it back up a little bit higher and you can tweak all of those options and let's actually go um, back into the options let's delete this because we don't need it anymore yes we're going to delete it we can come back okay we can see we've got our uh, normal results back what else could we do let's actually let's take a look at some of the heuristics uh, scoring routines now this is for fairly advanced users if we click on the heuristic scoring tab we can see now the help file goes into more detail on what all of these do so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on these but you can see you've basically got some controls about how important is it that the um, file was launched in the past how important is it that um, that the word you type matches the left hand side um, how important is it that's an exact match should it favor short file name? Should it favor folders, etc.? And all of these settings are for advanced users who really want to tweak the the way FAR finds files and uh, help it to read your mind a little bit better. Let's see. Let me just give you another example so you can see the kind of thing you might type. Let's say we type the way we think is Microsoft Word. We're going to type MSW. Okay, so we do that and we see, well, okay, it's done a pretty good job, uh, but it's found Microsoft Office, which we were thinking, and it's ranked it second below Minesweeper. Hmm, why is that? Well, Minesweeper's also got MSW in the name, um, but it's a shorter it's a shorter name, and FAR tends to favor that. We could go in there and tell it, now don't favor shorter 
file names, but mm, that would be one way. There's lots of ways to solve any of these problems. In our case, however, um, we could just launch Microsoft Word once, and then every time we typed MSW, it's going to know we never play Minesweeper, but we always use Microsoft Word, so Microsoft Word would pop up to the top after that. But in our case, when we see this, we're going to say, well, Minesweeper I hate. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to say add rule for this item. And you can see it's going to add us, it's added the actual full name of the file. And I'm going to put in here negative 9999. And basically, I'm going to tell FAR I never want you to find Minesweeper for me. Whatever I type, if it matches Minesweeper, trust me, I don't care about that. Okay, if you wanted to go back, we could bring up the options. We can see here it is, Minesweeper. Let's delete this. That wasn't that was not really what we had in mind. That's too extreme. But we do know that any file that's in the games subdirectory, we know that's unlikely to be useful for us. So we're gonna give that a negative score. And now I type MSW and here it is found. Why did it do that? Let's go back and see what did I do wrong. I forgot to use the wildcard patterns. Okay, let's try again. And there we go. Now Minesweeper is still going to be down there somewhere. There it is. It's just got a lower score because I penalized anything in the games directory. And there you have it. Now let's just close up and say if there's some unusual um, phrases you use to find things. You can always add an explicit alias and say every time I type M-O-W I want you to find Microsoft Word because that's just how we refer to it in the office. Whatever. You can always add aliases and there's lots of ways to do everything. So hopefully now you've seen a little bit about how to tweak the scoring of FAR and if you're bored and want to figure out how different things, different rules affect it, you can read the help file or just go into the options and start checking and unchecking these uh, scoring heuristic rules and see how they affect the results. And uh, you can just uncheck some and watch how it changes the results, put back some others, see how that changes the results. You can see. Okay, and that does it for this uh, screencast. I'll see you next time.